The managers in the organizations are living in some sort of a world of a bounded rationality. They make mostly uh, uh, good decisions, but sometimes it happens that some bias or error in their decision making can occur. And you really can find a lot of these biases that are influencing the decision making. And for the purpose of this video, I've decided to pick three so that you will really see that these, uh, these biases may have happened also in your life or around you. So there are, at least when I, when I searched for these, I found 11 straight away. So these are the three, maybe the most common one. First one, the overconfidence bias. This is when we are given factual questions and asked to judge the probability that our answers are correct, we tend to be fairly optimistic, which is called overconfidence bias. So let's say you are asked a question, well, let's say, uh, who was the president of the United States in uh, 1976? And you, you tell some answer and then after you, you give this answer, you are asked, well, how, how, what is the probability of that you think that you are right? And now this person is going to say something like, I am, I am, let's say 70%, 70% confident confident that I am right, that, um, that I am correct, correct. Now, the researchers have done a lot of experiments upon this topic. And when someone tells a number such as this one, 70%, the truth is that this person is most likely only correct in 50% of situations. So we tend to over, let's say we tend to have a too high confidence in, in the way it, whether we are correct or not about some things. And this happens exactly in a case of managers. They might have, they might be too optimistic or might have too high confidence and do not realize they might be wrong quite often. Secondly, we have the encoring bias. The encoring bias is a tendency to fixate to initial information and fail to adequately adjust to subsequent information. Now, this is a pretty interesting and useful one. Well, let's say you come uh, to a job interview and you are asked um, about how high salary do you imagine? If uh, you say that you in imagine an initial salary of uh, 55,000, 55,000, that's the imagination of your salary. Now, the employer, the potential employer is going to have um, or is going to think about the range from 50,000 uh, 50, to 60,000 as a, as a reasonable negotiation range. But if you are asked this question and you answer, let's say 55,000, $650, then the potential employer is going to consider as a, as a reasonable range for negotiation with you, 55,000 uh, 55, to 56,000. That's an interesting question or, or interesting problem, isn't it? So you really should be more concrete. And now this is the encoding bias, but it's a little bit tricky to uh, to explain that. So we fix it to initial information, which was in this case, the answer to how high salary we imagine. And then if we would continue talking about our salary, job expectations, and so on, the, the potential employer would fail to adequately adjust to the subsequent information. And this happens quite often uh, in the minds of many Managers. Now, finally, this is maybe the most dangerous one, and that is the escalation of commitment. Escalation of commitment refers to staying with a decision even when there is clear evidence it is wrong. So let's say you are a manager and you have invested into some project and you have invested, let's say uh, you have a project and you have made some investment into this project, investment 
of let's say one hundred thousand dollars now the the time will go on and go on and there is a clear evidence that your decision was wrong and that you are going to lose this one hundred thousand dollars investment but what is the escalation of commitment doing is that this manager who has invested into this project one hundred thousand dollars will push more and more and maybe will invest four hundred thousand dollars more just um, to avoid the fact of of being wrong or to admit that he or she was wrong so this is a really dangerous situation when some manager or, or anyone in the organization basically has escalation of commitment and uh, when there is some investment made uh, the person doesn't want to admit that he or she was wrong so these were the very basic biases and errors in decision making that happen 